Thank you, Yanni. Looks like a lot of fun. Now, the state of Rhode Island taking steps to address the issue of gun violence. Today, Governor Gina Raimondo named her Gun Safety Task Force, which will work to come up with solutions to keep guns out of the hands of those who are considered dangerous. Hi, with News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with what we've learned about this group. Steve. Well, Mike, the group was created as part of an executive order Governor Raimondo signed in the wake of the Parkland, Florida school shooting that claimed the lives of 17 people. The 41 person group features a variety of members from all professional backgrounds. One of the co-chairs is a Rhode Island Hospital emergency room doctor who has seen gun injuries firsthand. Another Narragansett Town Administrator James Manny, a former state police major, gun owner and NRA member. Governor Raimondo highlighted what the group's mission was today. My charge to the group is to study and come up with a plan to address loopholes in the background check system. We know they exist. Let's identify them. Let's figure out how to close them. Uh, let's look at the reporting processes for people who have access to guns who shouldn't have access to guns. House Minority Leader Patricia Morgan weighed in on the Governor's Commission on Gun Violence. She issued a statement saying in part, I welcome responsible research and discussion from this working group. The knee-jerk reactions that have been the immediate responses to the Parkland tragedy do not help us understand or solve the complex issues driving these behaviors. I hope members from the Second Amendment Coalition will be added so that all voices and points of view can be included in the work of the group. Governor Raimondo said today she wants an action plan in place by this fall. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.